everyone. My name is George. Welcome back to Backyard Smoking. On uh, today's episode, what I plan on doing is checking to make sure if the RT700 by Rectech, also known as the Bull, if it's actually cooking at the temperature that it says it is. Now, there's a reason why I'm doing this. Uh, yesterday was Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. Um, I made some ribs yesterday for Father's Day. I did a typical 3-2-1 cook. Uh, if you don't know what that is, that's where you cook ribs uh, three hours uh, naked, you know, just pure smoke, um, then two hours wrapped in aluminum foil, and then one hour uh, unwrapped with some sauce on it to let it sit. Um, I cooked those at 225 degrees. After the five hours, the 3-2 version, the 3-2 of the five hours, uh, the ribs are actually completely burnt. So I have a feeling the bull is actually cooking at a much higher temperature than what it says. Uh, so I wanted to do some temperature um, you know, checks today and I'll bring you along for the ride to, to let you know, how, you know what it's cooking at. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. So as usual, I gotta do the annoying thing and ask you to subscribe. So please subscribe to my channel, I greatly appreciate it. So for this test, I use two separate temperature devices. I use the Novation and I use the Flame Boss 200. I know the Novation is calibrated because I did um, test it with some boiling water. It read temperatures of 216 degrees. So it is about 4% or I'm sorry, 4 degrees higher than it should be, but it's very close. So here I am setting up the temperature probes. I try to get them as close to the um, Rectech one as possible so I can get an accurate reading. And here I, uh, I've set them up. I set the set point to 225 degrees and I kind of let it go. I'm gonna fast forward the recording here as much as I can so this is, you know, this video doesn't end up being 20 minutes long. I will say I was very surprised with the results of the test. I really did think that the Rectech was reading much higher temperatures than what I thought, but in reality, it's actually reading um, lower temperatures. So I'm not 100% sure what happened with my ribs that day, but it'll be something that I'm gonna have to revisit and see, could have just easily been user error um, on my part, and that's the reason they burnt. But, you know, as, as you can see here, it's reading relatively close. Um, I can't calibrate the flame boss, so I'm not sure why that's reading temperatures that different. But if you look at the evasion, it's pretty spot on. Barbecue's not a science. It doesn't have to be an exact temperature as long as you're, you know, within five or ten degrees. You know, you're you're gonna be fine. So I'm happy to say, Rectech, right on point. Thanks again for watching the video. Hope you have a great day.